Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I am back again for another low vision spotlight video. This time we're looking at another classic game compilation uh, on Steam. This is the Atari Vault. It's also available on a lot of your current platforms too, I believe. Uh, your consoles, so if you want to play it that way, you can. Um, so this is a collection, of course, of classic Atari games. You see some arcade, this arcade cabinet spinning in the middle of the screen here. Um, you have some arcade cabinets, a few of those. And then you have several Atari 2600 games. Now, I was really looking forward to this, and in some ways it's good. Uh, I like some of what they've done here. Um, but, you know, this is really Atari stuff, so you're not going to find, you know, third-party things, like a lot of stuff from Activision early on, like your Pitfall, or uh, other, you know, like I said, other third-party games. So there's going to be a lot of your first-party stuff, which, yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Um, but there's quite a few games that, uh, like, you know, uh, Enduro, I don't remember who made that one. I remember playing that back in the day on the original 2600. I don't believe that's in here. Um, several other ones that I just remember playing either at the Wii we owned ourselves or that friends or our babysitter had. So let's just, uh, we're not going to go through all these games because there's like a hundred of them or better and it would just take forever. So I just want to show you what the game is like. So if you want to play some of these Atari games, you can. So for each one of these, you see um, on the upper left, I, I, the presentation I really like. You've got a nice title bar on the upper left that tells you what the title of the game is. And then on the lower left, you can choose between your uh, arcade and your 2600 games, your little icons there. And then on the right, you have uh, your menu where you can do different things. You can play the game, you can get a gallery, there's options, you can do all kinds of stuff, leaderboards, and multiplayer if you want to. So let's just take a gander here. Uh, we have uh, Super Breakout. We're going to look at the arcade games first. We'll just uh, go through them. Tempest, Warlords, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, uh, Black Widow. I don't remember what that is. Centipede. I know a lot of people like that game, and the idea is interesting, but for me, that was one of the early games. There's so much little icons and little... Or little things going on that was actually visually hard for me to play. Uh, Crystal Castles, never really got into that one either. Gravatar, I don't remember what that is. We'll maybe look at that. Um, Liberator, Lunar Lander, uh, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, there you go, your first uh, Atari game. Uh, Red Baron, I think I remember the 2600 version of that. Uh, Space Duel, Sprint 2, uh, and we're back to Super Breakout. So there's not a whole lot of arcade games. Let's, uh, let's take a look at one or two of the arcade games. Um, Tempest, yeah, let's look at Tempest, actually, because I'm, I'm trying to remember, I mean, I know what the game sort of looks like, but I don't remember even how to play. <laughs> now, I wonder if it's actually going to let me use, I know during the, now this one I think, oh wow, okay, I'm terrible, <laughs> So this game, basically, you have these enemies coming out and you don't want to get them to the outside. And if I remember correctly, this game in the arcade actually had like a little, um, like a roller, uh, I can't think of what you would call it. Um, you know, like a, a dial controller. And I just sucked bad on that one. So let's, uh, um, let's just main menu here. Yeah, I didn't do very good on that one. Main menu. Okay, so Tempest, that's just, like I said, they're, they're early arcade games. Uh, let's do something that I can maybe get, do a little better at. 
Let's do Asteroids. I, I played the crap out of the Atari version of this. Um, so on the, let's see how the arcade goes, but sometimes I remember, so this is a very simple, can I use the joystick to turn? Uh, so these, you just have these like random kind of polygon shapes. Yeah, so I have to use the D-pad, like, remember the Atari 2600 was a joystick and one button, so why the hell wouldn't you use... The... Why wouldn't you... Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm dead. Why wouldn't you use the... Really? Yeah, spawn me just the opposite way. Wow, that is really bad. Let's just do a reset. Let's try Asteroids one more time. Because this is one of my games I remember liking. Back in the day. Now that I know you have to use your D-pad. And I'll show you the Atari 2600 version. Which I, oh god, which I also know is on here. Okay, we're gonna... Ah! Uh, Uh-oh. I'd like to at least beat one level. I remember the Atari 2600 version of this. I used to play this. I was really good at it. Now, you can fly around the screen. If I were to hit up, I could move around the screen. But for the most part, what I found, I played this like I was a turret. And if you were fast enough to, to aim well, um, like I just demonstrated not doing well there. <laughs> oh, come on. That's bullshit. Uh, okay. Oh, really? Wow, like I literally had no time to react on either one of those. I don't remember the Atari one being that cheap. <laughs> um, the uh, the console version. Um, but when I played Asteroids in the Atari 2600, I used to, uh, I, I used to be able to, I'd get bored with it because I would wrap the score all the way around back down to zero and I had so many extra lives. I'm just like, okay, here, somebody else can play. Um, I was actually really good at the original Asteroids, and I could play it, you know, every once in a while I would hit up to move around, but largely I would play it like a central turret and just basically defend the center of the screen. Uh, Asteroids, Deluxe, uh, uh, Black Widow, I don't even remember what this is. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. Half the fun of these games is trying to figure out how in the hell to play them. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't remember how I'm supposed to play this. Okay, so am I in the... I'm dead right away? Wow. At least let me... I didn't... Wow, I'm just... I didn't even get a chance to... I didn't even get a chance. Okay, here we go. How do I... Oh my. Because I'm trying to figure out... It's like a twin stick shooter or something, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Um, We'll do maybe one more arcade game. And then I'll go into the... Because there's a lot of 2600 games. Uh, no, let's not do Centipede. Crystal Can... Let's see what Gravatar is. Okay. Like I said, these old games... There were so many that were like just space. And what the hell? You you just you have to figure out how to play them. You know, I mean, after a while, games you know you, you kind of just had this standard of like, oh, this is how a game. You know, this is okay. This is a twin stick shooter. This is a platformer. This is whatever. Ugh. All right, I have no idea how to play this. Um, sure. Anyway, that's Gravatar, I guess. Um, but, you know, like I said, maybe you have... There's certain games that I have more affection for, you know, back in the day, or more 
memories of. So let's go to the joystick here. I just used the mouse because it was quicker. Uh, so now we can look at our uh, Atari 2600 cartridges. See, we got 3D models of those just like we do the arcade cabinets. We have Asteroids, which I will show you. Uh, Atari Video Cube. I don't know what that is. I should look at that. Um, Backgammon. I've never figured out, never learned how to play that. Uh, basic Math. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, basketball. Blackjack. Bowling. I remember that one we might pop into. I remember playing that one a little bit. That was actually kind of decent. Uh, brain games. Breakout. Canyon Bomber. Uh, Casino. Centipede, again the Atari version. Championship Soccer. Circus Atari. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Code Breaker. Combat Classic Game, although that one you really need two players for. Um, that one you know, came with all every 2600. Uh, yeah, Combat was cool. I like that game. Uh, Combat 2. I don't know if I've ever played Combat 2. Crystal Castle. Uh, Demons to Diamonds, okay, sure, I have no idea. Uh, Desert Falcon, Dodge'em, uh, we had, that game is super hard. I remember we had that, uh, we had a copy of that. Um, Double Dunk, I don't know if I ever played that. Uh, Fatal Run, Flag Capture, Football, I remember that. I remember playing that at our babysitter's house. Man, is that antiquated by today's standards. Wow. Golf, uh, Gravatar, Hangman, Haunted House, we had that. That was kind of an interesting game. Uh, home Run, uh, Human Cannonball, that sounds interesting, Maze Craze, I vaguely remember that, I know the name, but I don't remember what it was, I don't remember what it played like, Millipede, Miniature Golf, I remember that, uh, Missile Command, yep, gotta remember that one. Uh, Night Driver. Yeah, that was kind of an interesting one. Although this, from what I tried of it last night, that does not control well on this version. Maybe we'll give it a shot. I'll show you. Off the Wall. I don't know what that is. Outlaw. Oh yeah, I played that at the babysitter's house. I remember that was kind of a this Wild West thing where you're basically these big old like stick dudes and you had these different environments where there's like stake stage coaches or cactuses or cacti different things you know to try to shoot each other i remember that um pong sports interesting gar uh wait what what was that uh oh quadrum race <laughs> what a generic name there um, radar lock. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of real sports games. So we got real sports: baseball, basketball, boxing. That might be kind of fun to look at. Football, soccer, tennis, volleyball. Uh. Okay, uh, Return to Haunted House. That was a weird one. I tried that last night, and I'm... It was sort of like the original, but a lot more different in a way. Um, Save Mary? I have never even heard of that game. I have no idea what that is. 
a secret quest. Uh, Sentinel. Skydiver. Slot machine. Oh, yippee. Um, slot racer. I don't know if I played that. Slot racers. Uh, Space War. Sprint Masters. Or Sprint Master. Uh, Star Raiders. Starship. Uh, Steeple Chase. I have no idea what that is. I was trying to look at the box art for that one. Uh, Stellar Track. Okay. Street Racer. God, there's a lot of these. Uh, Stunt Cycle. Submarine Commander. Super Baseball. Super. Aha. Super Breakout. Super Football. Uh, surround. So, okay, now these are the Sword Quest games. These were, you really need the manuals and stuff to play these because uh, actually the Angry Video Game Nerd did an interesting video that described these in more detail. Um, these, they, they had these really cool quests back in the day where you subscribe to this newsletter thing or something and you could buy, or you could buy these cartridges and Atari was supposed to have, what was it, four different sword quest games and they were based off of like different elements and stuff and you would compete but you had to solve these puzzles and prove that you've completed them and then they like they played the they did the first contest for the first game i think they did the second one the third one fizzled out and the cartridges are rare and i don't think they even made the fourth one so you could win things like a sword, uh, there was a golden chalice, there was a, um, I don't even remember, there was like some kind of diamond pyramid thing that you could win. But there was like all these really nice prizes and then you were supposed to, like the four winners would compete for some grand prize. I think that was like this really cool jewel encrusted sword or something. Um, but yeah, so we have like earth world, fire world, water world, and they don't have, I don't remember what the fourth one was supposed to be. Tempest, okay, so now we're back, okay, well, no, we're still, video checkers, video chess, video pinball, that could be fun. Uh, Warlords, that one just does not control well with a D-pad or whatever, that one, again, you really need the specialty controllers for. Yar's Revenge, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, uh, adventure, and we, oh, okay, a game of, uh, oh, concentration, okay. Uh, air, sea, battle, and back to asteroids. So let's, we've spent a lot of this video looking at the menus. Let's go into a game. I remember adventure being pretty cool. So you start out, there's a little square, and you have this castle. Now you've got to see there's a key over here. Okay, I can grab a key. Oh, and I can go in the castle. And I'm supposed to bring something, I think, into said room. Um, I don't remember exactly how this worked, but basically you had to find... Uh, so you can see the key here. Let's just keep going down. And wow. Actually, the contrast on this is really kind of harsh, actually. Look at that. You can barely see my cube. I can see the key, but if I didn't have my key, I could barely see where my guy is. The contrast on this is actually terrible. I remember, I, this is probably just because it's all HD and stuff, but I remember, like, I, I could, this was really easily playable on, oh, God. Okay, I got a black key. I'm not sure what, uh, we're making all kinds of funny noises there, but we got a, now we got a different key for something. Oh, and I died. Okay, cool. 
Uh, anyway, I, I mean, it's a really cool game, but I was able to play it really well on my old CRT TV. Uh, you can actually see the little... Wow, I mean, I can actually see the little... If I get close, like the little grids on the background there. <laughs> like you can see the... Res literally, you can see the resolution. Uh, okay, respawn. Uh, let's just go main menu. So you saw a little bit of adventure. That was actually kind of hard to see. Let's do... Uh, Let's do that. I'll show you the Atari version of Asteroids. This is the one I'm familiar with. A lot more... You know, how can you not remember just the Atari 2600 and it's just crazy... Crazy limited sound palette here. Like, I can tilt over here. We'll shoot the other side for a little bit. That one's getting a little close. Got to time it right. Okay, we got this one. We're gonna. There we go. Almost sounds like the Jaws thing. Dun 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 dun. Gets faster, of course. Yeah. See, and oh, like no Space Invaders. I played the crap out of the Atari 2600 Space Invaders too. Okay, we got that. Okay, we need to get some of these right ones here because they're gonna be getting close to me first. I missed that one. Okay, let me go over here. This one's getting a little close. There we go. Oh. Again, I'm playing it like a turret. I could move around, but I'm not gonna. Okay, we gotta get these ones that are close to me. Okay, we're safe over there. See, God forbid, I'm actually playing a game. I'm not just looking at menus. And I'm not completely sucking, which is what I do with the vast majority of these other games. Okay, we got the oh, that one's... Okay, I gotta get this other one here. Okay, that means there's a... I think that means there's a... Like a ship or something, saucer or something you can hit. Oh, okay, we gotta get this left side. Oh, man, I think I'm gonna die here. Okay, got that guy. So instead of being those just, uh, like, outline shapes of asteroids, these you got these weird, just kind of, almost like neon colors of asteroids. So they try to make it a little bit more colorful, filled in shapes. Jaws is coming for you. Let's just see how well I do. I mean, I would think that I'm probably going to... I'm getting, well, I'm not going to say it because the moment I say, oh, I'm going to do good, then I just completely crap out, so. But I feel like I'm starting to get my old chi back. I said, I played the crap out of this growing up, so. What are we on? I don't even know what level we're on. Okay, oh boy, we got a big mask right there, okay. Those ones that are close. Get that one. Okay, now we gotta get rid of this. Oh boy. Okay, we got that. Okay, we got a big guy over here on the left we gotta kill. Okay, shrunk those. So they, they split into these smaller pieces. And then... You just gotta get them before they get you, really. And it's not any more complicated than that. I mean, this game is stupid easy to understand. Uh, if it's a little tricky at times. And it seems like this game is a lot easier than the Atari uh, arcade, oh God, arcade version. Because this one, even when you die... They, oh, God. Uh, oh, wow, that was close. I can't believe I pulled that off. Um, when you die, they actually wait for pieces... They won't spawn you when the piece is directly coming at you. Like, so you have a little bit of leeway to react. Okay, what are we... Okay, uh... Oh, on the, on the right-hand side, okay. One more. Boom, got it. So you see I've already wrapped up... Oh, well, I was gonna say, I don't want to spend all day on asteroids, but... I was kind of curious if I could wrap it around. We're already at number one... 
on the left hand side there so our score is as big as ah is as big as it can get one four three really one fourth okay well oh wow and i'm just doing excellent and then i say oh it's not going to spawn you and then it wow okay get distracted and then just completely choke fair enough I was going to say, look at all those extra lives I had in the upper right-hand corner, but <laughs> down to one. All right. Awesome. But I, I was going to see if I could wrap it around. Uh, but I think that'll take that'll take too long. It probably takes me about a half an hour to do that. I don't remember anymore how long it took me, but I could regularly do it. Yeah, so let's just... Uh, uh oh, this is bad. Probably gonna die here. Oh, per uh, yep. All right. So anyway, that's asteroids. One of my classics. Uh, let's play. Eh. No. No basic math. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. Let's do bowling. Okay. Strike. Hell yeah. That's a way to start. Okay. And we're gonna... I can tilt the ball a little bit. Nice! Another strike! Yeah, man. So I can kind of... Oh. Missed the bottom one there, missed the 10 pin. So let's just throw her straight and that should just take care of it. We've got a spare. Boom. So player one, uh, okay, fourth frame and we got a 49. Uh, one thing I, or, <laughs> yeah, the, the text, like some of the contrast in these games is on these newer monitors. And, oh, that was bad. That's going to be hard to pick up a spare on that one. Um, oh, nice! Now I'm just genuinely curious to see how... Uh, all right. Beautiful. Um, but the, the contrast in some of these is just really bad. Like, for reading that text up there, I mean, there's no, like, black outline around the numbers or anything like that, so it's just... I don't know, it's just not very good. Okay, we got a spare. We should probably do pretty good on this one. Uh, seventh frame, looks like. Ah, oh, one pin. Looks like about the eight or nine, maybe. Bink. Okay. I know I shouldn't play this whole game, but I mean, bowling doesn't take too long, and it's... There we go. Look at that, man. Better than I do in real life, that's for dang sure. Ah, uh, that... Oh, ish. Well, I'm not picking up that split. Well, that's definitely not going to be a spare. That is some hot garbage. Oh, okay, we missed three on that one. Okay, tenth frame. Here we go, guys. It's all or nothing. Can I break 200? Oh, right. No, probably not going to break 200, but hey, it got over 150. And for me, that's pretty damn good. All right, so I got one more throw. Bink. All right. And there you go. We bold. All right, so let's see, what else do we want to look at? Uh, breakout, I was never good at that. Casino, no. Let's look at something. Probably look at a couple. I can't do combat. I like, I like combat, but you need two players really for it. Um, Falcon, Dodge on that game is just hard. 
basically you have this like square and then these these cars you're trying to go and collect all the things like pac-man but you can only turn lanes at certain parts it's really hard uh, now i'll show you a sports game i'll show you the original football i have no idea even how to play this so Uh, maybe I'll play. Cause I, th or oh, do you have to play against the? Maybe this is only multiplayer. Can you play single player? I don't even know. Nah, whatever. At least you see what the field looks like. I mean, that's basically. I mean, it's really primitive. Uh, and they just flicker. The players just flicker. Gravatar. Hangman, uh, oh, Haunted House. I'll jump into that real quick, because I remember this was kind of a neat thing. So you're this eyeballs. Ah! And I turned into Meatwad. <laughs> and it looks like Meatwad from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. But, so basically, I think you're supposed to be lighting up the room here. Uh oh, we got another spider. Ah, ghostesses. Get away from me, you ghostesses. And I think we're supposed to be, like, finding the piece of an urn or something. I don't know. Uh-oh. Ah! I got hit by the... I don't know if that's supposed to be a spider or whatever the hell. Okay, I got something. That's a good thing. And eventually, when you get later levels, like, there's actually no walls, so you have to... It's all black. But, and this is Haunted House. I mean, there's... <laughs> I don't exactly remember fully how to play. Like, I think you're... I don't know how many pieces you're supposed to collect of this object, but basically you got to wander around until you find it. Um, uh oh Ah, whoa, how did I dodge that? Oh, wait, there's something up here. Haha. -ha. I got it. Oh, wait, What? You can only get one at a time? Do I have to bring them somewhere? I don't remember how the... Apparently, I don't remember how the hell this game works. Uh... Okay. Uh, yeah. So, about that, I don't remember how to play this game anymore. I know you have to collect things and... <clears throat> apparently bring them somewhere. Hell, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. That's Haunted House. That's like your first... One of the... One of the first horror game, oh jeez, first horror games, aside from your really bad licensed horror games, uh, like uh, again they've covered a few of those on AVGN, they had ones for Halloween on the Atari, they had one for, oh, what was it, uh, Chainsaw Massacre, I think, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, <laughs> cheesy. But, uh, uh, let's see, what else? I'll show you maybe one or two more. Maze Craze, no, no, no. Uh, Outlaws, there was a single player for that, but now because it was kind of lame. Uh, race. So just to show you, like, you saw at least what the first football game looked like. Let's see what this, let's see, I think they actually changed, oh, okay, this is totally different. Okay, yeah, so now we got a side view. Okay, players actually look sort of like players. I have no idea how to play this. Hut! Uh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to play this because I have no idea. But I just wanted to show you the graphic style. Uh, those are those real sports. Um, return to now nah, Haunted House. How's a boot? Uh, skydiver, no. Uh, kind of want to look at that pinball game. Uh... 
<sighs> Baseball. Oh, I wanted to look at boxing too. Oh, this is another football one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, oh wow. We get a 3D perspective on this, like a actual kind of going like you would a modern football game. That's actually pretty impressive. For Atari 2600, this is actually pretty dang good. Okay, oh, and we just got stuffed. Okay, I have no idea how to play this. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, you know, for an Atari game, that's actually, that's actually pretty impressive. That's not bad. Um, I think I passed. Oh, is that under the real sports? I just want to see what the boxing looked like. Uh, boxing. I just want to see what this looks like. Okay, I can choose a character. Okay, that's kind of neat. Yeah, we'll be the we'll be the guy in the blue trunks, okay? Okay, wow. I have no idea how to play this. Oh, we're choosing our opponent? What the hell? Okay, so I'm the guy on the left actually. I'm fight I'm choosing who to fight. I have no idea how this game is played. The cr I like the crowd. It almost sounds like it's like an ocean or something. It doesn't even sound like a crowd. I get what they're going for, but it's actually pretty funny. Alright. Boxing. I don't know. I would have played this as a kid. I would have figured it out. But I mean, right now, it's just it's not going to hold any attention whatsoever. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. So, anyway, that's boxing. I just wanted to see what that was like. I wanted to look at that pinball. Um... And then I think we'll wrap it up. But you get an idea. There's a lot of... Not some of the games that I really wanted in here, but... Uh, there's a, there's quite a few games missing, of course. Things like, you know, uh, Space Invaders and stuff like that. But, um, you know, there's stuff here. So, you know, if you like Atari, um, this probably isn't too bad. Um, pinball, yeah, pinball, let's see what this pinball is. I'm sure it's, you know, very primitive, but... Okay, how do I... Uh... How do I pull the plunger? Uh... Well, we can look at it. Oh... Oh, that's... I gotta use left or right for the flippers, which... Eesh. Okay, I'm not... Uh. Yeah, it's certainly a pinball game. Okay, you're just bouncing. Uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, for Atari, like 2600, this really isn't that bad. You know, I mean, it it works. I mean, I get what they're going for. Um, you know, you only had one button to work with, so you couldn't have two separate buttons for flippers. The ball is relatively easy to see. I mean, the contrast is good. It's just when it starts flying around... Uh, if you're low vision, it's hard to keep track of it. But, I mean, the contrast is very good. So, hey, you know. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. I see. I understand how the plunger works now. So you can choose how hard you want to hit it by up, up and down. And then you hit the button to launch. I don't know if there's a tilt or anything like that. Doesn't seem to be. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here in just a minute or two. <clears throat> we'll uh, see how badly I suck at pinball here. But uh, yeah, that is the Atari Vault. It's available on lots of different stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't know. 
It's missing some of the games that I really would want to play, but it's, you know, it's a dang good collection. Got a little a few arcade games. You got a lot of 2600. Oh, hey, we actually got flashes now. We're doing good, man. Flashes and pinball mean good stuff. So if we could get... Oh, we've got like that... There's like a four, in, and then there's... Uh, a bunch of ones or something, and then an Atari symbol in the upper right. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do. Okay, so let's... There we go, we launched the crap out of it this time. And I think... Let me see how many, like, how many lives we have. There's a one in the upper left, there's a three. I don't know what the one... Oh, okay. I wonder if that means I have three balls, because it's probably player one. Because I'm sure you can play multiple players. So if I die... I'm probably not going to finish if I if I have to play three lives still. I mean it it's okay, but I mean I'm not going to I'm not going to play this forever. But you know for Atari it's actually not bad. Okay, I hit something in the middle there. Or if I get enough of a high score and it goes up to 4. I'm not going to purposely throw the game, but... Oh yeah, I gotta be getting... Get a pretty good score up there. Twenty... Oh yeah, 25,000 something. Okay, yeah. Okay, so apparently that is it. I don't know what those other numbers mean, but hey, that is Atari Vault. A uh, lot of different games there for you to choose from. And again, I didn't even go into a lot of the settings, but you can tweak a lot of the settings of the way the game plays. If you want it to be full screen and stretched or widescreen, or if you want, you know, like different video filters and things like that. So there's, you know, there's a lot of little things that you can do. Uh, in this, it's a you know a decently presented uh, collection of uh, titles. So that is Atari Vault available now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at bgfh79. And until next time, I'll chat with you guys in the next one. Later.